List prices suggest that you'll be paying somewhere in the 30 to 43,000 pound bracket for your A5 Cabriolet with the premium for its relative extra practicality over an Audi TT Roadster with similar power being around two and a half thousand pounds. If you want your A5 Cabriolet to come with quattro four wheel drive, you'll need to allow an extra 1500 pounds over the basic cost of either a two litre T petrol or three litre V6 model. Now, these uh, V6s are priced pretty comparably with BMW 3 Series convertible, but if you're going for the entry-level 2.0-litre T petrol A5 Cabrio, then there's a useful saving to be made over the 3 Series, maybe as, as much as £3,000. There aren't really too many other alternatives. A comparably powered uh, Saab 9.3 convertible won't cost you much less and will depreciate much quicker. Mercedes, Infiniti and uh, Lexus will all offer you uh, Cabrio alternatives but compare like with like and you'll find that they all cost slightly more. Of this car's rivals, only BMW can match the wide range of engines on offer. In the Audi's case, that means a choice of uh, 2 litre petrol or diesel options and a handy range of V6s, 2.7 or 3 litres in size if you want diesel or uh, 3.2 litre normally aspirated or three litre supercharged if you're looking for petrol. As far as transmission is concerned, uh, there's a choice between the standard six speed manual or a couple of automatics, uh, a seven speed Multitronic or a more sporting seven speed S-Tronic. Safety wise, ESP stability control is of course standard as are twin front and side airbags to cover uh, head and body of all passengers. Plus, should the car be in danger of rolling, there are metal bars that spring out behind the rear seats to protect you further. Trim levels run between standard, SE and S-Line, but all include the fully automatic hood, climate control, a six CD stereo, front fog lamps and alloy wheels. They also all get this uh, clever neck heating system to keep you warm on chilly days when you've got the roof down. Though because the control for it is on the seat base here, uh, it's difficult to see exactly what setting you're at when you're on the move. Then should the weather warm up, you've got the option of special solar reflective leather upholstery so you don't burn your backside when you get in the car after it's been parked roof down on a sunny day.